Hey guys, and welcome back to a new video. So, again, it's night, and I'm gonna try and get this video uploaded tonight. Yesterday's video just uploaded about a half an hour ago. It took almost 24 hours for it to upload, which is super agitating. So I did do a video yesterday, it just, just got uploaded. So these videos are kind of going to be back to back if this video actually uploads in normal time. Um, cause sometimes it takes like 10 minutes to upload a video and then other times it's like 24 hours. It's, it's really weird. But today we're going to be talking about, um, ginseng now i do not actually have any of the ginseng herb but today um when i was at the store i actually had a ginseng liquid um that i had picked up this would be a tincture it is an alcohol base um now i don't generally buy tinctures already made um, or anything like that because this one is supposed to be ginseng but when I got home and I was looking into the ingredients one it's 50% alcohol 56% alcohol so it's over half percent alcohol and it has two different types of ginseng licorice root and ginger in it which is fine, they're, they're all fine, but the fact that it's over 50% alcohol is like a lot, and um, it's not just ginseng, it has other herbs in it. So you gotta be really careful when you're buying these um, tinctures that are already pre-made from the store. I didn't buy this for the contents of what is in it. Um, I actually bought them because they were very cheap, um, at the discount store I was at, they were just, um, a dollar, and the eyedroppers of these black glass blue bottles at my health food store are $2.99 to $3.99, depending on which health food store I go to, so I picked them up because it was literally less than half off for the glass bottles for the tinctures that I'm currently making. So in this other one I got is an elderberry liquid. And when I was looking at it, it actually seems like it just has elderberry instra instructions in it. Um, and it's 500 milligrams of organic berries. So this one actually did look pretty good. Um, it doesn't have any other, um, additives in it it's just the elderberries and alcohol so this one actually looked really good this one over here was mixed with three different herbs all good herbs but at the same time like it's not just ginseng so that is why I bought these but I thought since I got a ginseng tincture we would go ahead and talk about ginseng today um so a lot of um, people drink ginseng tea, especially women. So women, um, it's really good for menopause in women. Uh, I'm going to pull up my notes over here that I did. Let's see. Um, so a lot of women going through menopause and loss of like libido and stuff like that they will use ginseng tea it helps really good with that it also helps with um, menstrual cramps and things of that nature um, erectile dysfunctions and inflammation now ginseng is one of the main ingredients in a lot of inflammation herbs um, i was looking at the different types of herbs at the store today i mean not the herbs I was looking at the different types of vitamins for like inflammation and pain and just um, vitamins in general and ginseng was in just about all of them so it's a very common herb to be putting in stuff um, it's also really good for blood pressure 
and it reduces um, your cancer risk. Um, it actually attacks the um, cancer cells as they're developing and either will slow down growth or minimize it before it actually um, hits your body. Um, a lot of people also use it for blood sugar as well. Um, type 2 diabetics will use it um, for lowering their blood sugar. And about the same amount of time when I was reading it, um, it took about the same amount of time to lower your blood sugar as horsetail did, which was about an hour and a half. Um, so it doesn't lower your blood sugar super fast, but it does lower it if you was to run out of a medication or something like that. Um, so really commonly people will take ginseng and vitamin supplements such as capsules. You can make those capsules yourself if you get the ginseng um, root and grind it up into a powder and put it into capsules or you can already buy it in capsules. I did see um, some ginseng capsules um, at the store today, but the ginseng actually wasn't just ginseng. They added... I think there was calcium in it and maybe vitamin C or vitamin D. So it wasn't just ginseng that you were getting. Um, so there's just a lot of fillers when it comes to putting in those vitamins yourself, which is something that I just am trying to like get away from because um, there's just there's just no need to spend $30, $40 on a bottle of vitamins and not get that product. Um, so I definitely am looking at ways to make my own capsules and things like that. And in my YouTube channel that will be coming, um, I'm actually working on getting capsules and getting a little filler because I have no patience to sit there capsule by capsule and push them together. Um, I would if I had to, but there's a little thing that I want to get that will do a hundred capsules at a time, and um, so I'm kind of waiting on that because I just don't have the patience to do it one by one or take the little spoon and stick stuff in there. Like, no, thank you. Um, so you can also like most. Oh my goodness, I'm like tripping over everything and I'm extremely tired and I don't know if you can tell. But capsule form, tea form, those are very two main types. And then they also put them in inflammation creams and stuff as well. So you would be able to um, put it in like body lotions and things like that. So we're going to go over the top seven that I found. Um, and some of those might overlap into what I was talking about. But boosting your brain function, there was a study done where people um, were given ginseng that had Alzheimer's and over the course of the month, over 50% of the Alzheimer's patients, they had more um, memory and not, they didn't have more memory, but they had more um their Alzheimer's didn't develop as fast as somebody who didn't have ginseng in their system. I think that's what they meant by that. Um, so it does slow down the effects of all time. Alzheimer's is what that study pretty much said. So that is really cool if you do have Alzheimer's running in your family. It might be something that you want to take as a precautionary thing um, to see if it helps you. So it boosts the brain function. Um, and they also said that they are doing a study with ADHD kids and how it would calm them down and help them focus. Um, I do know that I was looking at a, um, a brain like focusing vitamin um, at the store and it actually had ginseng in it as well. So that kind of goes with what they were talking about of how people with ADHD taking ginseng helps them focus on a task at hand. Um, lowering high blood sugar levels, we talked about that. Increasing the libido, we talked about that. Um, and it just overall improves your energy levels. So with this liquid, um, I looked up this particular liquid on their website and they pretty much said it was an energy boost to put it in your morning juice to um, just kind of like wake you up and get you going and stuff like that during the day. 
um, it lowers cholesterol. Um, so people who have um, high cholesterol, um, they will take a gems ginseng supplement to help lower that down. Now, again, if you're on a pill for any of these health conditions, don't stop taking them and start taking ginseng. Definitely consult your doctor first. Um, so it reduces the inflammation. It reduces inflammation when you're taking it in a capsule form, putting it in your body, as well as whenever you are using it for creams and things like that. Um, so pretty much that is going to be the top seven and um, some studies that were done on it. Definitely with all these herbs, do your research. I do not have any of the ginseng um, herb on my shelf right now. I only have the tincture. I have been looking for it, but my health food store, they were out of it. So I would either have to order it or special order it through my health food store, which I don't know if it's really a herb that um, is super, super important to actually have it ordered right now. Um, but I definitely would keep it in the back of my mind as an herb I'm looking for if they do have it. Um, let's see. I think I've covered everything that I know personally about ginseng. I didn't really do a whole lot of research on ginseng. Um, I just, you know, looked through a few websites and I looked over my herb book to kind of see, um, what the main things were for it. So definitely ginseng looks like a really good herb to use if you have certain um health conditions but definitely do your research and i am so tired um okay so the elderberry um liquid that i made i'm gonna have to make some more because i am currently out um it doesn't really last very long between me and my kids um, taking it and I take it um, a couple of times a day my kids only take um, a little um, five milligram Tylenol tube I guess syringe that's what I'm looking for they only take one a day I take two a day and if I'm sick I will take three to four a day um, so I only make it in a little um, pint jar I make it about halfway full um, I'm gonna be making some here very shortly maybe this weekend so if i do i will be doing a video showing you how to um get the elderberry syrup out um because it does have to be cooked there is a way to do it um to where toxins won't be released into your body because elderberry is actually very toxic to your body and can cause serious um health risks and some people even say that it can cause death if you get an infection from elderberry through your body. So it is very, very toxic. Um, but it is very, very healthy for you if you cook it and process it correctly. So I will be doing a video on that um, to show you guys all about that. Um, and also this weekend or sometime this week i'm also going to be making fire cider and i'm going to be showing you guys how i make that as well so that's an upcoming video um fire cider is very popular amongst me and my friends um everybody really loves fire cider and um upon permission i will tell a story about how fire cider has helped um really boost a vitamin level and help kids not get sick when we were going through the whole COVID season. So I may be telling you a really good story um, about fire cider. But other than that, guys, I'm going to hop off here because it has been a very long day. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day tomorrow. Depending on what time this video goes up, I don't even know. Um, it should be going up Thursday night, but you might be watching it on Friday because I don't know when it's going to go up. But I hope you guys have a great day. And yeah, as always, guys, God bless.